Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we're back inside Lumber Tycoon 2 with a mini ginger axe. Um, last time I was wanting to go and get koa wood, and we ended up cleaning the base, talking about some, like, concepts and ideas and stuff like that, and yeah, we missed the boat. I missed the boat while trying to clean up my base. So this time, concentration, 100%. We, we've got coffee at 100% input, and Hoover is standing right there watching me. <clears throat> now here is the idea. From my understanding, all I have to do is get Koa onto the... Uh, Oh, oh gosh, hold on, why is this? Oh, gingerbread axe, okay, there we go. I have to get it onto the boat, at least touching the floorboard, or the, the, that floor area. Oh, come on, flip. As long as I can get it to touch, then the whole thing should attach, and we should be able to get the whole thing over there. Now, um, I don't know how well this is going to go. But I'm definitely going to try to get two or three trees on it. Can I, can I move the tree? Wow. That was kind of cool. Um, cool little concept. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh geez. There we go. Okay. Can I just flip this like... That, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oof, oof, oof. Can I just, just set it down, set it down. And then we'll go this direction. There you go. Yeah, yeah boy. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put the whole tree on here. Sorry Hoover, I'm gonna make a mess of your uh, poop deck. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Up and over. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You, you know, that's, that's fine. That's okay. What part is stuck over here? Is it this one? Alright. Come on. Come on. That should allow us to move that direction. Ooh, stay on the boat, stay on the boat, on the boat, on the boat. Hold on. No, no, okay, stay, 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 stay. Up and over, ooh, come on. I need to have enough room to get back onto the boat. Are you stuck? There we go. All right, and we're good. It's very light wood, by the way. Just saying. This should be more than enough to keep us occupied for a while. Probably finish out a couple of sandses. But you never know. Hoover could glitch us out. We don't. We don't know. So <clears throat> uh, I am gonna have to buy another ticket to get back, aren't I? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, you know what, I'll do one more. One more tree. One more. Hopefully he stays there. Uh, you know, I misjudged and miscalculated last time the, uh, time that it took him to travel. Ooh! That was awesome. Okay, can I do another flip that will land it perfectly on top of the others? I wonder. Alright, let's, uh... By the way, if you have a gingerbread axe, it is great and excellent for oh, 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 oh. for koa wood and walnut wood. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. We need to move just slightly over like 
that, and then I can pivot it off this one right here. Learning to pivot the wood is a huge concept. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It allows you to move the wood into place. Oh gosh. Ooh, okay. Just rock it up, dude. Just rock it back. There we go. And then this one should be able to go. Oh, oh, oh no, no, stop. <coughs> okay, well, um, yeah, let's just go get the car then. <laughs> uh, get the car, put it back on the, the boat, check the time, and then hopefully we can get all this stuff back. That'd be... So that's good. We're good. Uh, we got a nice coat tree. It's it's okay. All right, Hoover. <laughs> hey, code. Um, I would like to purchase a ticket. Thanks. We'll be on our way soon. Um, just out of curiosity, Hoover. Um, when do you take off next? Oh, about two minutes and three seconds. Two minutes is a really short time. Don't know that I'm gonna be able to. Grab this. Am I close enough to the edge that I can? No, no, not happening. Not happening. What about down here? Can I? Can I grab it from here? Nope, 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 nope. Hold on. Oh, oh. Actually. Ha 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 ha. All right, two minutes. Oh gosh. That worked, kind of. All right, let's uh, let's rock this one up here like that, and then I'm just going to kind of spin this up like that. There we go. And I should be able to rock this one forward. No, oh no, just stop, 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 stop. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh please. Uh it's not touching the deck. It's gotta touch the deck in order to work. Um Oh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, let's just get back on the boat. Get back on the boat. We won't worry about it. Mmm. I would say what 30 30 seconds we got about 30 seconds let's see what happens to that tree we'll see we'll see if it works uh, <clears throat> and I think I'll be safe when we get back over to the other side and I'll just I'll chop this stuff up let's see if this uh this works oh gosh the concept behind the the Hoover ferry is is great. I mean, I love the idea that you have to pay to get across and then it takes time because the more time you have to spend in game, the more popular that game has to be or like that it's it's a con concept. It did it. It attached. Okay, that's that's cool. It's going to drop it once we get back over to the other side, but <laughs> Oh gosh. Do 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 Don't forget to subscribe to Code Primate's channel. He's got the content of Roblox and Lumber Tycoon. Sorry, just making making up words. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've got a Roblox t-shirt on. Thank you, Defaultio, for uh, sending this to me. I've got a picture of him right there. Got all kinds of good stuff. Defaultio there. You know, awesome t-shirt. I love it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. Although, um, I am I am now an XXL, which is an extra, extra large, uh, you know, <laughs> 
Been hitting the gym, beefing up. No, I'm just kidding. It's winter time. I always go up a shirt size during the winter. <clears throat> oh, speaking of which, uh, I think last time I said the New Zealand weather or something like that. So, you guys apparently like that. You're like, oh, yeah, it is summer down here. Thank you, Code, for telling us. <laughs> also, thank you for reminding me that it's going to rain tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is a means to an end. We are, we are getting the coal wood so we can finish our sands. So if I can get some of this stuff planked out, I will um, start back in on the pixel art. <sighs> nice and easy. And I hope that if you don't play Lumber Tycoon 2, you'll at least consider coming back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Or trying it out. Because it really is an awesome game. Like, this is one of the best games I can think of because of the concept of the build and the, the way that you have to build everything. Mm, okay, let's try to get this and move it. It's, it's stuck stuck, isn't it? All right. Come on, come on. Maybe if I... Oh, no, that's... <gasps> Well, we saved two of the pieces. That's that's too far out for me to grab. All right, uh, let's just walk this back, walk this back, walk this back. There we go, nice and easy. Get it up on this side, and then we can uh, we can take them one by one if we need to. There we go. Got the koa wood. It's amazing. Um, for those of you that don't know, this song score or song concept is written by Kevin MacLeod. Um, I highly recommend that you go check him out. Check out his music. He does a lot of free music for um, copyright free songs. And it's not 100% copyright free. You do have to give him recognition. So it's uh, it's more like Creative Commons, um, I think. Some of his songs are copywritten, but he's a great composer. I've seen him on live stream a couple of times, and the man is a genius. Um, the other person whose uh, music I really like, concept music, is B Slick or Bobby Yarslick, and uh, he was actually actually in the. Uh, Bloxy Awards last year, and I think he's actually up for Bloxy this year. So, huge shout out to B-Slick. Oh gosh. There's two. Uh, I should go and make a game. I, I should create a game. Oh, ooh, coffee simulator. Oh, I'm just kidding. There's too many simulator games out there. I could just call it Coffee Co. or something and make it like entrepreneurship of a coffee company. Or something like that. I don't I don't know. I'll have to come up with something. Would you guys want to see that? Build game series coming back? <coughs> I did it for a while and in comparison to like me coming in and playing Roblox or playing Lumber Tycoon 2 more specifically, um, not a lot of people were watching it. Um, but it was something that had concept over time. What I mean is um, Lumber Tycoon 2, you guys watching this right now, there's probably about 2,000 within the first 10 hours that will watch this versus 200 that would watch my other series such as like building or programming or Lua. Um, but after a week's time, this this video right here, the one that you're watching, it will probably get about five, 10 views per day. And that's just because of people coming back and looking at the archives. Um, what is cool about the Lua scripting videos is those will continue to get about 200 to 300 views 
per per week and continue getting the views and I've said this before I've said it in the past and I'll say it again it's not about the views um, but the concept of you guys like wanting to learn that's bigger than just coming in and playing some Roblox you know teaching you guys how to make a living in lumber versus making a living in Roblox itself I know which one I would want to, to teach. I would definitely want to teach you guys how to do um, games instead. I know the, the Keelys would be uh, very happy if you guys are watching right now. Shout out to you guys. They sent me uh, uh, they sent me jelly beans back whenever I was doing the jelly bean concept. Oh, speaking of which, I need to make, go and make actual jelly beans inside my sitting room. I had them up for a little while and they didn't do anything, I just made them. But I programmed those in, uh, or I, I modeled those in um, Blender 3D. Because I really liked the way that I could get the curve shapes on them. <clears throat> just put different textures and colors on them, and boom. We could have jelly, jelly bellies in, in game. Alright, let's let's take this load over before it gets too crazy. Hoover, you taking off yet, buddy? Doesn't look like he's taking off. Okay. Nice and easy. Oof. Oof. Just kidding. We're not oofing that bad. Uh, I do not have to move this tree. This tree is in the way. Two, three, four. You may have asked, why, Code? Why did it take so many hits on the, the oak tree versus the koa? Well, the koa and the walnut, I think I said this already, they are, um, the gingerbread is specifically created to hit them harder. Do a lot more, oops, excuse me, do a lot more damage. <laughs> is that too long? That's probably too long. Oh yeah, that was, that was too long. Uh, Oh, this is not a... <laughs> I'm like, it's a mod saw. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, that's Koa. That's the, that's the wood that we need. Okay. Uh, da -do, da -do, da -do. Uh, that one looks a little bit too long. Let's slice it in half. There you go. There we go. This should. This is gonna go crazy whenever it starts planking all of them out, isn't it? Let's go chop that one in half. Uh, chop that one in half. Man, I have not had to go and plank or chop wood in like a really long time. So this is this is a really fun episode for me, just because I'm getting to I'm getting to actually play again. Oh gosh, look at all look at all the co wood, <laughs> and we're we're not even halfway done. We still got a bunch over there. Oh come on, come on, there you go. Shut the door. There you go. We got this. Bye, Hoover. Good luck, buddy. Oh, he took a piece with him. Oh, well. And there's that. Uh, chop that one right there. Grab this one. Chop this one right here. And then right here. There we go. That's Zelda. Ocarina of Time. 
Would you guys want to see me playing some old school Nintendo 64 games or maybe some Wii games, something like that? Uh, I know I had a boy and his blob there for a long time, and I never did finish it. Uh, that was a different concept, by the way. That was no face cam, just nice, gentle talk, and playing through a series that would be easy. <laughs> I hate, hate to say it like that, but it's something that would be easy for me. I think that was one of my first concept runs. Oh, stay on, stay on. Oh, I lost it. Oh, I lost another one. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, a third one right there. That's okay. I think I have enough wood. Uh, how far along are we? We're 21 minutes, so. This is big concept of just gathering wood. Good. Here it goes. There we go. Okay. Now you're planking. Instead of now you're thinking. Now you're planking. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. Come on. Come on. Go in. There you go. Alright. Um, down. And in she goes. Come on. Oh. The lag, man. The lag. That's going to be a big one. Nice jump. Oof. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to go clean all this stuff up, aren't we? No, Code, you don't have to clean it. Just leave it as a big mess right there. <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to have to clean. Drop. And here we go. We're almost done. One episode of Koa Wood coming up. The concepts and ideas behind gathering wood and the good old fashioned hard work that goes into creating something special like pixel art um, you know what the little the little limbs I'm not gonna worry about I know it, it feels like a waste but we do need to get this stuff planked out and get get moving towards our goal of finishing the pixel art for my son which is more important than the little pieces. Just to me. To the concept. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. <sighs> and it feels like a sense of accomplishment too. Like, when you finally get something built, you know, that you've been working on for a really long time. I think the best one... The, the best ones were the palm wood, oh gosh, the palm wood bridge, because that was a huge accomplishment, and the gold platform, uh, both on my original base. Those two concepts were huge. Come on, come on. I felt really bad when I found out that the koa wood was not, uh, was not walnut. On the on the first one for Ollie, whenever we were building all of this. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Loop. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? What in the world? There it goes. Okay. And like attached <laughs> the end. Right. Let's park right here. Jump out. Shut that. Now, none of these should be this long. This is crazy concept. So let's uh let's go ahead and chop. 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 
shop. Any other super long ones? I think that's okay. Uh, that one right there looks super long. Yeah, that one's gonna fall through things. Fall, fall through things. Fall through things. Hold on. Yep. Too long, buddy. Too long. Need to chop off this end. This is the bad piece. That shouldn't fall through. There we go. Make sure we get organized. By the way, I don't have a walnut bin, do I? Okay, let's build a walnut bin. <laughs> I keep having to move these all over. I wonder... I wonder if I can make like a, an entire floor out of Bolden Brash. I mean, they're pretty cheap now, so that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> One, two, three. Why is it flashing like that? Weird. Could be something new. Uh, rotate turn right there. One, two, and three. Turn. Come on, right there. One, two, and three. So that's all encapsulated. Do, 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 do. By the way, walnut wood works great with uh, gingerbread axe or reverse that. Gingerbread axe works great with walnut wood. Ooh, I don't know if that was big. Yeah. 99%. Always make sure you chop just a little bit bigger than the one by ones. That way you won't get that 99, 98%. Although one unit chop saws are awesome, um, I always tend to find that they go a little bit bigger than they were. They're like a little bit smaller than they were supposed to. Just not in the intention, you know? But that's okay. There we go. All right. Now we have a place for our walnut. Right in there like that. Good, good. St stay, stay. I think I have every kind of wood. What am I missing? I uh, got in times ice. Uh, I don't have pine or fur. I don't have pine or fur. Um, lava, I've got down there at the end. Swamp. In times. In times? Yep, I got in times. Hmm. Oak and elm. I don't have oak and elm. So there's four kinds that I don't have. We should probably finish those up. Uh, we only got about two minutes left here in game. Thank you for watching, by the way. I love that you guys watch watch the videos of just hanging out. I like them. Although I should do some logic videos. Definitely need to do some logical videos. And, um, <clears throat> if you don't know how to read off schematics, like, uh, and or switches and stuff like that, feel free to look around, um, just Google, like, what is a 555 timer, you know, or what is an amplifier, amplifier chip, and the concepts should, oh no, I don't want to say they should be pretty easy, because some of the concepts aren't very easy. Especially if you start getting into like transformers, uh, transistors, stuff like that. Um, you guys don't want to see all of this clean up, right? It's not that satisfying. Actually, I bet it is. <laughs> but it's very satisfying being like, oh my gosh, Code, your base looks so amazing after you cleaned it. 
Is that sticking out the end? That is. Okay. Chop you in two. Come here, you. There we go. And rock these back like that. Nice. <clears throat> I wish there were an easier way to move these over there. Maybe if I had made a conveyor belt go in that direction. That would have been a concept, you know? But I didn't. What are you doing? Stop it. Mean old chop saw. <laughs> Man. There we go. I love this. This is this is very organized, and I, I I really do like this one. The the way these are turning out. We're at 31 minutes. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Little bitty ginger axe, gingerbread axe. <sighs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end. Hoover's in the background. He's coming back. I can't believe we waited that long. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think I already said that. Anyhow, love you guys very much. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Thank you.